Hello, my name is Asan Sayed. I'm a student at the University of Western Ontario studying environmental science and business. As an agent of social environmental change, I have a dream to change the world. It is this ambition that has had me scrambling to get involved with initiatives, educating myself on the errors of our ways, and scaring people of their doom to convince them of the importance of environmental action. Content as I was with my approach, my experience with the Redfish School of Change has completely altered the way I think about leadership and what change really means, as a consequence of my new relationship with the world around me. This is my story. Redfish is a six-week experiential learning program through Green Learning Canada that takes place in the West Kootenays of British Columbia. The goal of the program is to inspire change makers and develop environmental activists through the exploration of ecological sustainability. My journey began at a small self-managed cabin by a mountainside. There we learned about water management systems, explored micro dams, built a bridge over Raging Creek, then biked down the valley to the docks of Sulcan Lake. There we loaded up canoes and embarked on an eight day paddling trip. We discovered native cave art, learned hands-on outdoor survival skills, then paddled some more. We made new friends along the way, got our hands dirty, then paddled some more. We learned about the ecology of different plants, played music by the campfire, and then floated into the docks of New Denver, BC. After conferences, networking with local activists and professionals, and more service projects, we set off on a five-day biking trip exploring river ecosystems. We toured dams, we explored national parks, we had classes on the beach, studied more ecology, and then biked some more. We relaxed in hot springs, we had story time on hilltops, and then arrived in the city of Nelson. From there we packed food and gear and embarked on a four-day hike up a glacier, supporting each other around the rocks, encouraging each other up the slopes, and celebrating at the top of the peak. Thus we arrived at the Copenhagen cabin where our journey ended. As someone who felt uncomfortable and feared the untamed wild, pushing myself to try something new and spending time outdoors made me realize how special this place really is and the true reason why it should be protected. By creating a personal connection with nature, I developed a deep ingrained value for the environment and realized that this is where true change starts, through a mental switch in what we as a society value. We shouldn't protect nature for the fear of the consequence of destroying it, but preserve it because it's important to us and a part of who we are. Young people are at a point in their lives when they have the time to invest in hobbies and activities. I want to motivate you to take advantage of this time, experience the natural world, and develop those interests in the outdoors. People instinctually love being outside and develop a better sense of self when in nature. I went through this in a very direct way, and I want to share my story with others and connect them with the great green world around us. I value TEDx Kids BC as an opportunity to gain confidence and be a benchmark for my goal as I blend the elements of personal growth into action.